<laughs> How do you like my new mask? <laughs> so uh, instead of a happy today, we're gonna do a hippity today. So anyway, I thought that kind of get it off to a little bit lighter thing going on. So let me get my glasses because I can't say anything without it. So today we're gonna do another fresh arrangement. And we're actually gonna use one of our customers' containers they brought in. They wanted some fresh flowers for their table. This is actually Heron. It's a Heron soup tureen, but they left the lid at home. Thank goodness I'll probably break it. But Heron is actually one of the oldest China companies in the world. It's based in Heron, Hungary. And the wonderful thing about it, this is all hand painted. And to when you the it's a little town and they have 300 artists that live there. And so they hand paint all this, it's very artesian. And so to be a, an artist for Heron or one of the employees, you have to study or apprentice for 10 years to learn all the patterns. And there's thousands and thousands of patterns, but any of the artists can actually paint any of the pieces. So this is one of, this is one of our customers containers, like I said, we're gonna make a centerpiece in it. Sometimes or a lot of times we'll actually just do a liner in here or we'll do a hard liner with foam but I thought since you're home, you might want to know how to do it without the foam. And then you would just take a piece of chicken wire, which, or poultry netting or floral wire. And actually all I've done is I've kind of made it into an egg shape. So it's just gonna set right into there. Okay, so that'll be like a frog almost, like a, a old timey frog basically. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add just a couple pieces of greenery and we're gonna keep this more narrow this way because their table is long and narrow what's well, not real narrow but it's long and they have their table settings or their play uh, table their China set up on both sides so typically on a table 15 inches deep would be how much space you would need for your plate and your stemware so that's 15 inches this way, that's 15 inches that way. So generally on a normal table, which is about 48 or 40 inches wide, you only have about 10 to 12 inches to work with. So you don't want to spill over on top of someone's plate, basically what I'm getting to. We still have a lot of people check, coming in or not coming in, but coming to the sidewalk. We put some of our stuff that we had left over and we had a sidewalk sale basically today and so people are coming by looking they're doing one car at a time they pick it out they put it on a table and then we bring it in ring it up rebag it take it out and then we clean everything as we go so uh, we were trying to be social distancing as well as safe for our customers and our employees so that gives you a little bit of line there no you really can't see a whole lot because I've got such a small table one here too. So today we're gonna to work with the jasmine vine, some more Arkansas grown peonies from Felton, some kale, some beautiful blue, not blue, purple, some day lilies, which are really tight, but that's okay because really in general, I like design lilies. I like them to be that tight so they don't get bruised up so bad. Some fresh viburnum just came in this morning. Dusty Miller, some lavender tulip, super pot just came in, some hyson that just came in, some Dutch iris, and then some Borneo heather for just a little pop of pink. So let's start out with our hydrangea. Another thing we want to keep in mind too is we don't want to make this hot because this is going to be, they're going to have a seated dinner for lunch. So we don't ever want to go any higher than from here to here. Basically, you put your elbows, not supposed to put your elbows on the table, but that's how you would guide to be able to see over. Like I said, this is one of our customers' containers. This is one of our customers I've had for, or Tim Curse has had for, oh gosh, as long as I've been here. Actually, the person sending these flowers, she's, she's gonna get to go have lunch with her family. And she's been a customer of mine forever. And she's not only a customer, she's a dear friend. And so, I really miss getting to see her because she's, um, 
more mature and we've decided that we don't want to have anything happen to her so we want to make sure that we're constantly watching out for her so let's take this we're gonna put a little bit of dusty miller in there so the dusty miller is going to give it that very garden-esque look it's also going to pull that white porcelain up now the great thing about this chicken wire is that you're not having to insert this especially stems like this that D Dusty Miller does not hold well generally in foam. For some reason, it doesn't drink as well. And plus, the stem's not very woody, so it tends to get kind of mushy when you put it in and it doesn't hold very well. How's everybody doing out there today, by the way? Everybody's good. Everybody's good? So, I really don't look at the comments or the post until late at night when I'm trying to unwind and see, but... Man, we had people from all over the world yesterday watching. I was kind of shocked. So, I really appreciate y'all doing that. It makes us feel better too. So, a little bit of viburnum. Now this one, we definitely could cut that into smaller pieces, especially for the sides, because you don't want the sides to hang over too far. I'm gonna do one longer piece here. And as I go through it, I would want to probably take this extra foliage off because all that does is just drink some more water. So let's go back here, pull that off. And, and honestly, if anything breaks or bends, you may as well go ahead and take it and take it off because it's not going to drink any water and it will wilt pretty fast. So let's take this one. And we're going to cut this one again to the middle. Put that one into there. So I think that gives us a good variety of that. Let's put those over there. You know, we probably actually could just save these for a small little cup to put by the kitchen sink or in, into your powder room, or even just by your bedside. Wouldn't that be pretty to wake up to in the morning with little flowers by your bedside? So now let's go back and add our hyson. And we're just adding the hyson with just a hint of aroma. Generally, I don't do a lot of scent on a dining room table because you don't want it to fight with the food. But this reminds me of spring so much. I don't think this customer is going to mind too much. So I'll always insert that right in the middle. The hyacinth will continue to grow as we stated before. And I even put all these little bitty buds in there. It may not mature too much, but at least they'll be there to add a little bit more texture. So let's go back now and let's add the peonies next. I'm just going to add just a few peonies here and there. We have Southern California, Kansas, Mountain View. Awesome. Pennsylvania. Someone asked what kind of knife do you use to cut the flowers? Or this, are you using? I always use a knife. This is just a Swiss blade knife that you can use, floral knife, but it's just a Tommy Swiss blade. Swiss blade. So I can cut it, I can close it and drop it in my pocket as I walk off. If not, I lose a ton of knives. I'm the world's worst about losing knives and tools and picking someone else's up and using theirs and then losing theirs. So I have better luck if I can just close this off and put it in my pocket. So anything else, something else I want to talk about too, as far as, as far as customers and things like that. You know, this customer, I've been very blessed to be a part of their lives from their children getting married to unfortunately losing a spouse and being there to add comfort with the flowers and taking care of them. And I, we, you know, help her with her Christmas. We help her with every aspect, I mean, I'm pretty much just part of the family, I feel like, sometimes. And I feel like that she's part of my family as well, because I definitely have used her as a sounding board to get me through different things in my career as well. So, a little trick here. If you get iris that are this tight, I know I bounce around a lot, if you'll just pull that right there and just give a little bit of that to it, then all you're gonna do is curve that down. 
if you definitely need the flowers to be more peaked. We of course we have our door. We're about, we always do this right by the door, and there's we don't have the door locked because we're in an a lot right now, taking care of customers, picking up stuff. And we just had a gentleman ask us why he can't come in the store. So because we don't want you to get sick, and we don't want to get sick. So sorry. So, Someone wants to know, how do you know what the side far away from you looks like and stays balanced? Huh? Like on this side, how do you know what's going on there? It's lucky. Just <laughs> luck. <laughs> and it's, sometimes it's funnier. Sometimes the, the other side looks better than the, than the side that I've worked on. So, how am I doing? I, honestly, I have no idea. Someone said that's oh, a great way to share the virus uh, with the guy yeah. that got trying to come in. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to like, oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, anyway. So I'm just interspersing these tulips throughout the whole thing. And these are super tight. So in the morning, hopefully when they get up, this is gonna be just a light lavender. So it's gonna have all these blends of deep purple to blue to lavender to this little pop of hot pink or that fuchsia watermelon color. They already had their table set by the way and they've done all these really pretty glass eggs and all different bright colors. So this should kind of blend the whole table together. So now we're gonna add a little bit of Borneo Heather. I'm sorry, I was wrong. She was saying that it's a great way to share the virus by blowing into that iris. Oh, well, hopefully I don't have any. So far, so good, but we will- We check our temperature every check, day. We check our Actually, temperature. every I hour. My, <laughs> I check my temperature at least four times a day. So there's that. A little bit here. A little bit more up there. Isn't that crazy how things that you always take for granted, you can't do anymore, just like blowing on that iris. I would have never thought about that until, totally. thank you for sharing that with me. Um, we will spray this down, especially with a lot of our uh, sealants and I don't see there being a problem, but we'll definitely let the customer know what happened and see how they feel about it, and we'll go from there, so. Someone said, I can just imagine the view from the top. Let's try to get on top and see. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some of the lilies. And these are just day lilies. They have no aroma, but they are kind of a buttery yellow. And what you want to do is you want to take all that foliage off. I even like to take the foliage out of the middle. But one thing, it tends to make the lines cross to me if you don't take that extra foliage off the top. So I take that right off there. Someone asked if you're going to still do um, these programs each day after Easter. Yes. We're going to do this until the quarantine's over. We may get real creative. But we're always gonna to try to be there. As long as you're stuck at home, we're gonna to try to, and we're able to do them, we're gonna to try to do them daily, which is gonna be a challenge. But I just feel like this is our one way that we can give back to everybody. And so we're gonna try our best to always be here. And if not, we'll figure out something else. So, but yeah, definitely. So in tomorrow morning, hopefully they come in, They'll have this beautiful cap of butter yellow with all these uh, peonies and this soft, or not soft, this watermelon color, and then your purples and your blues and your deep blues. Because we're trying to actually tie in a little bit of this Chinese. This is called uh, Chinese bouquet, by the way, on the heron pattern. Chinese bouquet blue. So 
So we have a doctor friend that just came in and said, virus should only live on porous surfaces for a couple of hours max. Okay. So, well, then if he will, when we deliver this, we'll let our customer know and they will probably leave this out in their garage. And then tonight at about eight o'clock, they can whisk it right on in and put it on their table. And they also know me well enough that if something doesn't last overnight, and if he has a problem with it, all he just has to call me and we'll make it right, we'll fix it. That's one thing about Tipton Hearst. We guarantee satisfaction, we don't ask any questions, and we're always here to try to take care of the customer as best as we can. So, and we're doing the best we can right now. We have a few, a few problems with availability, but we're going anywhere and everywhere we can do to find flowers and stuff that our customers want. So, so let me spin this around to this side. Ooh, I got a little hole over here. So I'll have to go pull, let's take this one and put it over here. Okay. So I think we're pretty good. What do y'all think? You like it? Everyone loves it. They said, when you think it can't get any more beautiful, you just keep adding beautiful to it. Oh, wait. Then there's more. I'm like a Bronco <laughs> commercial. So anyway. Thank y'all so much for watching this week, and I hope everyone, I do have a challenge. Please call somebody that, you know, you haven't talked in a while and just say, hey, I'm checking on you. I want to wish you happy Easter. I mean, I know for me, I have a lot of customers I try to check on and just to say, I mean, it might be once a week that I call and check on them, but, you know, a lot of people are just by themselves in their home, and I know that's got to get lonely. So, um, Take your time out. I, I challenge everybody to at least call and check on one friend and wish them happy Easter. Easter. So, and if I have a hunk missing, by the way, check my freezer. My wife's threatened to kill me about four times lately. So, anyway, just teasing. Anyway, y'all have a happy Easter and a blessed day, and we will see you back on Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye.